Hi there, curious minds. In this session, we will delve deeper into the subject of microeconomics and the topic of costs of production. Let's get learning. The costs of production are expenses a company incurs when it manufactures goods or provides services. This includes costs associated with making the products, selling them, delivering them to customers. Fixed costs are an essential part of this equation. These are the costs that don't vary with the level of output. Think about things like the rent for a factory or salaries for permanent staff. Regardless of how much or how little you produce, these costs remain constant. On the other side, we have variable costs. These costs fluctuate depending on the volume of production. Consider the costs of raw materials or direct labor. As production increases or decreases, these costs will change accordingly. So, how do we calculate the total cost of production? It's simple, we add up the fixed and variable costs. Total cost equals fixed costs plus variable costs. The next concept is the average cost or unit cost. This is determined by dividing the total cost of production by the quantity of output produced. It provides a useful measure of the cost of producing each unit of a good or service. Dealing with costs can be broken down into average fixed costs, average variable costs. The average fixed cost curve is a downward sloping curve. As output increases, the average fixed cost decreases because the same fixed costs are spread over more units. In contrast, the average variable cost curve is typically U-shaped. Initially, the cost decreases with increased output, but after reaching a minimum point, it starts to rise again. This reflects the realities of production where, after a certain point, costs rise due to factors such as overtime pay and equipment strain. Just like the variable cost curve, the average total cost curve is U-shaped, displaying the same initial decrease and eventual increase as output rises. Lastly, we have the long-run average cost. It is the cost over the long run divided by the output. Its curve is also U-shaped due to economies and diseconomies of scale. Initially, the firm experiences economies of scale, where increased production leads to lower per unit costs. But after a certain point, the firm experiences diseconomies of scale, where additional production increases per unit costs. That wraps up our session. Remember, each day brings new learning opportunities. Until next time, stay curious.